This gearbox has an extremely high gear ratio, which means if we spin the handle, the last gear will spin extremely fast. But can this fast speed help us generate more electricity? Here I have a small DC motor that we could use as a generator. Now you may be wondering, why am I using such a small, lightweight generator? Wouldn't a large, much more beefy generator help generate more electricity? While it's true the big generator can produce more electricity if spun at the same speed, the issue is that it actually requires a lot of torque to spin the big generator. And if you've seen my previous gearbox videos before, you'll know that even though the last gear spins really fast, it actually has very little torque. But what we can do is build a much simpler gearbox to also test the much bigger generator. This simple gearbox won't spin the generator nearly as fast as the extremely high gear ratio gearbox with the tiny generator. Which system do you think will produce more power? The extremely fast gearbox with the small generator or the slow gearbox with the big generator? I'm able to get the small generator to spin about 12,000 RPM and the big one about 800 RPM. So how do we measure the power output of each generator? And as you can see, nothing on the voltmeter says power. We want to measure how many watts each generator can produce. Watts is the unit for power, and you can find it by multiplying the current, or amps, times the voltage. Let's see how many volts we get on the small generator. On a good spin, I was able to get about 12 volts. Now let's see how many volts we could get with the big generator. It is definitely much easier to spin and I could sustain the voltage better. I could get around three volts for the big generator. Let's compare the results so far. For the tiny fast generator, we got 12 volts and for the big slow generator, we got three volts. Now let's measure the current or the amps. If you've seen my other gearbox videos, you'll know how difficult it's been to get the gearboxes to spin extremely fast. It's been a fun engineering challenge and I've been loving reading your suggestions. Let me know if you'd like to see me make an all metal version of these super high gear ratio gearboxes. If there's enough demand, I'll see what I could do, but it's going to be really expensive. The max current or amperage I'm able to get on this tiny fast generator is about 200 milliamps. Now let's see how many amps the big slow generator can produce. And yes, I'm really cranking on my 3D printer's bed, but this Creality Ender 3 has been through a ton and it seems to be able to handle anything. If you're wondering why I'm not using the table I used in my other videos, I made a giant match ball with 40,000 matches and set it on fire. And if you're wondering why I'm spinning it so much slower, it's because when you're measuring current, there's a lot of resistance in the motor. With this setup, I'm able to get about three amps. Let's calculate the final results. The current for the tiny fast generator was 0.2 amps, and the current for the big slow generator was 3 amps. This gives us 9 watts for the big slow generator and only 2.4 watts for the tiny fast generator. So even though an extremely high gear ratio gearbox that spins extremely fast seems like it'll be able to produce more power, it's actually contrary to that. These extremely high gear ratio gearboxes are very fascinating, but they do have a lot of energy losses to friction. However, one interesting thing to note is that if you want high voltage, faster is better. If you need a lot of current, pushing a big magnet through a lot of copper will give you more current. That's essentially the difference between the big generator and the small generator. The small generator has small magnets and a little bit of copper, and the big generator has big magnets and a lot of copper. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something new or at least got a better intuitive grasp of something you already knew. If you want to support 3D Printer Academy so I can make more of these videos, please consider becoming a Patreon supporter or a YouTube member by clicking the links in the description below. And a huge shout out and thank you to all of my current Patreon supporters and YouTube members. All of your names are listed in the description as well. Thanks for watching and happy printing.